Hi, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this price list in Word. So let's open a new document and the first thing I need to do is just to press my return key a number of times in order to insert my table further down my document without disturbing the rest of the graphics. Secondly, let's go and choose our pictures. So go to insert, pictures, click on the drop down and here you're given a number of different options. You can use your own pictures if you want, but I'm going to use the stock images from Word. So just click on that. Then over at the side here, I'm just going to type in bakery and I'm going to select a number of images from this selection. And then just click insert. Now when your images are inserted, you won't be able to move them. You'll only just be able to resize them. So click on each image, right click, go down to wrap text and select in front of text. Do that for all of your images. And now we need to have all of our images the same dimension. So select the image, go to crop, click on the drop down, go to aspect ratio, and we're going to select a portrait and we'll select three by four. And then once it's selected, you can move your image left or right to make sure you've selected exactly what you want. Just press enter. Whilst it's still selected and you're on picture format, go over to width and in here, I'm going to select 6.7 and press enter. And that will be the perfect size to put three of them across the top of our price list. So select this one, do the same, go to crop, aspect ratio, three by four, select the section of the image that you want, press enter, go up to the top here and select 6.7 and press enter. Now we just need to move the images to exactly where we want them. Now don't forget many printers aren't borderless, but if you do have a borderless printer, then go ahead and put them at the edges. If not, you may need to pull your images just in slightly, which will allow for the printer border. So I'm going to put mine at the edge here, and then I'm going to select them all, holding down my command or control key. Then I'm going to go to the alignment tool. I'm going to make sure they're distributed equally, so there's an equal gap between all three. Then I'm going to select a line again and align to top, and they should now all be aligned perfectly to the top. Then I'm going to go to group and select group. And now they're all one element, and then I can just pop them at the top of my document. Next for the text, I'm going to go to insert, text box, click on the drop down and select draw text box, click and draw out a text box. In here, I'm going to place in some text, then deselect my selection, reselect it, so my cursor is no longer inside. Go to the Home tab, select the font that you want. So for this one, I'm going to choose Dover Heights, and my font size will be 72. Just extend out the box. And then if I deselect it, you can see we've got this black border. And if I move it, you can see there's a white background. I'm going to get rid of both of those. So make sure the box is selected. Go to Shape Format. Select this Outline tool here and go to No Outline. Go to the Shape Fill tool and select No Fill. And then go to Align, Align to Centre. We're just going to be going to copy and paste this. The easiest way to do it is by selecting it. Hold down your Alt or Option key, click and drag. And then I'm going to change the text in here and then deselect the box and reselect it. That's just so that my cursor is not inside so I can make some customizations. Go to the Home tab. I'm going to change my font to this one here, Badoni. I think that's my, how you might pronounce it. And then here I'm just going to change the font size to 36. And then I'm going to make sure it's centered in the box. Reduce the size. This one, I need to make sure this one is centered as well. There we go. And then for this one, for me, the characters are slightly too close together. So I'm just going to select the text, right click and go down to font. Then I'm going to go to the advanced tab. And then in spacing, I'm just going to select five and then press OK. And then Word will just space out those characters a little bit for me. Now you don't have to do that, but it's just something that I like. So I'm just going to pop that there. Then I'm going to copy and paste that one out. 
because I'm going to use it at the bottom here for a website. But before I do that, I'm going to insert my table. I'm going to come back and make sure these are all aligned at the end. So then I'm going to insert my table. So go to insert table. I'm going to insert six rows and two columns. I'm going to select my table by clicking on this top left square. Go to table layout and I'm going to select a height of 1.5 and press enter. Then my alignment here will be to center left. And then I'm going to insert all my information and then I can customize this table. Now you may find that all of your fonts have been inserted as your default font. And if you want to match the font here, what you can do is just select some of the font, go up to the home tab and go to this painter tool here, double click on it and then just select all of the text that you want to change to match and you'll see it now matches. Then go up to your font size and simply select the font size you want and it's far easier to change it than when you're trying to type it all out into all the individual cells. So we're going to grab the center line here and just move it over. And we're just going to move this price list in a little bit. And what I'm trying to do is you can see this bakery course is actually centered to the center of my page. So I'm trying to make sure that the beginning of this line here, where all this text starts, is equal to where this text ends at the end of here. So I'm just moving that over slightly so that it's relatively centered. The table doesn't look centered, but the text looks centered to this title here. Now I'm just going to move that table down a little bit so it's more centered. Then I'm going to select the table again with this top left square. Go to table design and over to borders, click on the drop down and select no borders and then you can see those borders will disappear and you have this beautiful list here. So you can see that price list I duplicated earlier has disappeared. So we're just gonna go ahead and make another copy of that one. So select it, hold the Alt or Option key down, click and drag. And then here I'm just going to insert the website. And then deselect it, reselect the box. And then I'm gonna take this down to 14. Now to make sure this is all lovely and lined up, I'm just gonna make sure that the height of it is okay. And then to center it all to the page, I'm just going to select it all, go to shape format, go to align. I'm just going to align them all to themselves, then group them together and then align, align to center. And now they are all perfectly lined up to the center. If you're unhappy with anything, you can go ahead and just ungroup it by selecting it, going to group and selecting ungroup. Now for our background color, this is the last thing that you should do. Go to insert, shapes, click on the drop down and select a rectangle. Click and draw out a rectangle across your whole page. When you're on shape format, it will be selected. If you can't see shape format, it's because it hasn't been selected. Go to shape fill, select a color of your choice and then go to send backwards, center back. You can see we're still missing the price list. So go to wrap text and select behind text. And there you'll see your price list. Now, if you're completely happy with this, you can go ahead and print it off or you can save it as a PDF. But you can also save this as a template, which means if you need to just go back and make some alterations to the prices without having to redo the whole thing, then you can actually go to File, Save as Template, make sure it's saved in the Templates file, go down to the bottom and make sure it's saved in Word Templates, and then just click Save. Then when you open your Word software, you'll see it in your templates in your home page. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.